In this video, we're going to use a sustain pedal for recording guitar in Reaper. Now, a sustain pedal is one of the most useful things you could add to your setup for recording guitars. As, as you know, when you're holding a guitar, it's a bit hard to punch in or punch out or just hit record at all. Doing it with your foot makes a lot more sense. And if you already have a MIDI controller, adding a sustain pedal to it is fairly cheap. As we can see right here. I'm not necessarily recommending this one, but any sustain pedal should work and should be fairly cheap. So just plug it into the back of your MIDI controller where it says sustain, and you should be good to go. Then we'll come back to Reaper and open up our preferences. Control P on the PC, Command Comma on the Mac. That opens up the Reaper preferences and go down here to MIDI devices and then find your MIDI controller over here. This one is mine. And go over here, and most likely, the input and all will be turned on. We also have to turn on control. This will allow us to trigger actions in Reaper using MIDI from this controller, and now a sustain pedal. So make sure this is chosen, and hit OK. Now we can go to our actions and choose which action to control with a sustain pedal. Go to the actions menu, show action list, and type into the filter, transport record. And here's the action we're looking for. Transport record, go down here to add, and just hit the sustain pedal, and it should show up right here. Choosing the MIDI channel and continuous control number 64. That's the number for sustain. And over here, we could choose four different options. Typically, absolute isn't gonna work, as it's gonna require us to hold down the foot pedal to record, and let go to come out of record. Typically, you don't want that. We'll choose one of these three options. For me, all of them work. If they don't for you, just try each one. I'm gonna choose this one, hit OK. And now, if we use our foot pedal, we push it go into record. So the track set up here, I'll go into record with my guitar input set up. And I'm ready to record some guitar. So now if I hit, my guitar foot pedal. It'll go into record. I'm also going to turn on my metronome and a count off if I need one. But for me, I don't. As the song starts at bar one, so there's a count off starting at bar zero, like this. Notice when I hit the pedal again, it came out of record, but we're still hearing the guitar. To make this clearer, let's right click over here on input monitoring and switch it to monitor input tape auto stop. This way you hear the guitar only when we're in record. So if I come out, you don't hear the guitar. So if we hit the pedal, we go into record and record our guitar, hit it again, and we come out of record although the transport will still play, like this. So we still have to hit stop afterwards to stop the transport. But this is useful if we want to punch in and punch out our guitar. For example, let's say we want to punch in from bar three and punch out bar five. We can now do that manually by using the foot pedal. We're gonna hear the old guitar over here, punch in on bar three, and punch out a bar five using the foot pedal, and continue to hear the old guitar. But we have to hit the space bar to start it. Then we can hit the pedal to punch in, like this. So we punched in at bar three and punched out at bar five using our foot pedal. So we could play along the whole time and just punch in with our foot. But if you don't want to do it that way, we can just do it automatically using time selection auto punch. Just create a time selection from bar three to bar five, go to options and switch the record mode to time selection auto punch. So that'll punch in for us at bar three and punch out at bar five. 
And now you can hit the pedal right from the beginning and it'll start playing, but not punch in till bar three. So it punched in automatically, but we still use the foot pedal to start playback. Although we still had to hit the space bar to stop it. If you want to avoid that and just stop with the pedal, we can use a different action. Let's undo this and let's choose a different action. And this is going to require the SWS extensions. So if you don't have those installed, you won't have this action. But let's switch it to this one. Hit add, hit the pedal. Again, we'll choose one of the later three options. But now it's going to toggle record and stop with our pedal like this. So instead of punching out, it stops the transport. So in this way, we don't have to use our hands at all. We can start and stop it using the foot pedal. But there's another action I want to show you. And it's a custom action I created earlier, right here. And it goes like this. Stop, delete, or recorded media, and then go into record. So if you create this one, we can assign the keyboard shortcut to this. And now, if we hit the pedal, it's going to go into record. But if we hit it again, it's going to erase that performance. So the idea behind this method is if you're recording a piece over and over again until you get it right, just hit the space bar when it's perfect or the pedal to keep recording it over and over again until it's right. And we're happy with it, we can just hit the space bar to keep it. But a safer way is you could use either takes or lanes. So let's change the custom action to instead of stop and delete all media, we could stop and save all recorded media. Replace this one and save this one. And now when we trigger this custom action, it's going to save each piece and start recording over and over again. So if you want to do another take, just hit the pedal again. And let's change it under options, new recording that overlaps existing media items to create takes. Or my favorite way is just to use lanes. So create a new lane every time we hit the pedal to record it again. Again, this method is completely hands-free. We just have to hit the space bar at the end. And then we have as many passes as we saved, which we could hear back this way. We'll create a comping lane right here and just comp into it using pieces from each one of our performance. Maybe try out different pieces. Until we have the perfect performance. But doing it this way, using a sustain pedal, we could do most of it hands-free. Playing our guitar, or we use our foot to punch in, or to create new takes, or lanes, or just to start or stop playback. So that's pretty much it. That's using a sustain pedal for recording guitars in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.
tango, boys. Let's go. Bye.